What's up, everybody? Welcome back in. We're going live thrifting today. I know if you watched the last live thrifting video on the channel, I picked up a ton of stuff. That was not realistic of my normal thrifting trips, but we're back at the same store. We're going to see how it usually is. Hopefully, it'll be like last time, but we'll see what it is. Let's flip this over, get you inside. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is grab a cart. Hey, good morning. Thank you. Second thing we're gonna do is look for a specific tag that they're bringing out this week. Yes, George, what's up, Casey? See me going. Hey, hey, Tim. Just up to Chrissy. All right, so new tag of the week. Anyone take a guess? What's the new tag? What's the new tag that we're looking for? But remember, we're gonna also be looking at brown too because we didn't get all of them last week. But we're gonna be looking for the green, orange, no. Actually, that's funny you say that because we don't have orange. Uh, but thanks for the manifesting, Thrifty. What are we manifesting? Which what what brands? This this looks decent. It's Columbia. It's awful. Lucky. Joe's. Tim. Just black. No black. There you go. I do that now. I appreciate it. You know what? I almost posted a picture. If you wear Lululemon to the thrift store, you find Lululemon at the thrift store. That's honest. That's the truth. That is the truth because I just did that. Southern Marsh. Some people pick this brand up. I do not pick this brand up. What about you guys? Did you just start? I just started. We just walked in the door. There's my cart. Empty or not, it's empty right now. Last time it wasn't. This is the, So this is the same thrift store we went to last time. We're going to talk about the differences. That is super cute. I'm just glad my kid's out of that age. All right. What's up, Gladys? Um, more live thrifting on Wednesdays, please. <laughs> you can be in my ear while I shop. There you go. Hey, mom. Yeah. But the thing is, when you shop, I remember watching people and then when I actually shopped, it would be like, uh oh, I forget everything they said. It's all blank. Oh, all right. What are these? All right. So last week were those brown tags, right? We found a ton of really good stuff with brown. So it makes me feel like. They might have put better, more brown stuff out while I was gone. So I'm curious to know. I got my new athletic uh, Cabo linen pants from you the other day. Threw it to Christy. Hopefully they turned out okay. From whatnot, I'm guessing. You guys don't need to do that. But I appreciate it. Oh, no. Drop some linen. That's not good. I hear Goodwill is fiction off on certain colors. No. So it's the exact opposite. Our Goodwill doesn't do anything half off. We don't have any discounts like that. So what I do is look for the new inventory when it comes out. Oh, my son had this onesie. Memories, sleep sack, yep. Onesie, sleep sack. Hey, aren't some sleep sacks worth money? Like the weighted ones? Let me know in the chat. Are these are these a pickup? Halo sleep sack, let me know. I love Athleta. You know what? I just picked up brand new Tags Athleta at the last thrift store and I picked up Lululemon. Two, I swear, I swear they're like new without tags, so they were right next to it, but they weren't. So Halo is good. Is it good? Like, is it good resale? How much are these things? Because some people say they are dollar ninety nine. That one's Halo. This one's Halo. They're both sleep sacks, and they both are in really good shape. I just remember these when Jameson was little. This one even has look the swaddle, the swaddle, swaddle them up, swaddle them. Up. Let me look. Um, those resell for five bucks. All right, we'll leave them there. We'll leave them there for someone who has a baby who wants to swap because their kids are crying at night. They need something that can swaddle them. Been there, done that. And swaddling didn't even work for mine. What a joke. All right, we're going to let her do her thing. We're going to go look for green tags. Yo, what's up? Pretty good resale. Joel. All right, I'm going to start with the jackets. Again, t-shirts. I know everyone loves t-shirts, but these things are thrifted, especially with the outlet right down the street. Three t-shirt boys come in here all the time. They're on it. They're on it. Ooh, bet you we're going to see some new racks. Remember last week there were a ton of new racks that came out? It was awesome. What's up, Eric? Thanks for popping in. All right, Levi's. Some of these some of these do well, um, but I don't. I don't pick up the women's Levi's jacket, trucker jacket. So it's trucker jacket. A lot of you guys know that. Um, but that's a typical trucker jacket. I don't really pick up the women's anymore. 
There for a while, they were doing well for me. Not anymore. Uh, going to get me a fresh haircut. There you go, Joel. I'm sure you've already been to the gym too. Joel, I pretty good wrist up. There's Beyond Yoga, but oh, that's beat up. So Beyond Yoga, there's your little symbol. There's your symbol that used to be there. Again, that's too bad. But that's a green tag. That means there could be other good stuff like it around. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for some Beyond Yoga workout stuff. So help me out. Yes, sir. Beat them. Uh, beat up. Yeah, that's super beat up. That's what we're talking about. Super beat up. So last week, uh, yeah, I said it earlier. Last week, this is the same thrift store that we found a cart full, just a money cart. So we're going to be more real. Well, here we go. We're going to be more realistic this week. Um, let's see what we can find. But again, we got it. Let's keep our eyes open for brown tags. Brown tags they put out last week when we threw through this store. So there's going to probably be some good stuff because we hauled out. What do you, what brand do you think this is, guys? Did anyone see it? Sad. Is there a date for your next whatnot in April surfs? Gladys, I need to set that up. I have so much women's stuff. I will be gone for the first week of spring break. There's a couple of spots there um, on a, on vacation with the fam. Smart wool, you got it. Smart wool. Yep, so I saw that little smart wool. Boom. This is nice because this is a full zip. Smart wool. Kind of got that Nordic look to it for $5.99. But I will save this since it's spring. I will save this, uh, and I'll upload this to YouTube, by the way, too. So those of you watching on YouTube, it's spring. I'll save that for the winter. Let's go back. Ibex are cool. Ooh, I wish it was Ibex. Ibex. Oh, whoops. My bad. Um, I'm going to pin this. Ibex. Sorry, I'm not calling you out, Christina, but Ibex is like one of my favorite outdoor brands. It's, it's probably like the best. I don't, I really, really rarely find it, but I love that brand. It's a good brand. There's again, remember this? Two weeks in a row. Looks like uh, whatever it is. What's up, AZ? Cute. Smart wool socks are the best ever. That's what people say. You know what? I smell. I, I smell. I sell smart wool socks. I sell them. I've had two sold like in the past couple months. I think they're still in my 90 day comps. Yeah. Real weird. But yeah, they sell. They're a good pickup. Mine too. Love Ibex, dude. Ibex is... I don't even know where they sell Ibex, to be honest. I don't know. This looks like a nice motorcycle or winter. I think this is like a winter jacket. It does have YKK zippers, so it could be something decent. It just doesn't look very... It looks cheap. I don't, I'm pretty good with my outdoor brands. I don't know this brand. You guys know this brand? Anyone in the chat? Arctivia? Arctivi I don't even know. I don't even know. Uh, what's the green one? Patagonia back here. Uh, I'm not going to say no because you guys have definitely caught things that I didn't. Um, green. Oh, it must have been back here farther, right? Uh, green. Not that green. The blue. Mm, I don't see any Patagonia. Patagonia? Nope. 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 No Patagonias. What's up, Kayla? Kayla, don't act like, listen, I get in your lives to learn. That's why I'm in your life, to learn women's clothing. Oh, look at that Mickey Mouse. That thing is so cool. I don't think I'm going to get it because it's probably a kid's. It's really, well, it's not. I think it's just a crop. But um, look at this Mickey Mouse with the Mickey's all down the sleeve. Mickey right there. And then look at that big hit on the back. That is so cool. But it, it's just, it, it's a cutoff, right? Show your belly button ring. What's up? What's up, Trisha? Uh, yes, I saw it twice. Um, dark green, green vest. Okay, you guys are adamant. I think I definitely passed on it. If, if you guys say dark green, we're looking for a dark green vest that I might have passed up. If you're just now joining, and it could possibly be Patagucci. Could be. I'm looking for green though. Ooh. BS, what is this? Is this a good brand? This looks kind of nice. BSX. It's a brown tag. It's made in China. That's not the best. Look, I feel like it's BSX. Is that good? No? Not that far back. It was towards the right of the rack. The right of the rack. There's only, there's only a front and a back. 
We're going to just keep going. L.L. Bean. We'll look for green. A green vest. That's Patagonia. It was behind the light green one you looked at. Uh-oh. And it was a vest. For sure. For sure. Okay. Real tree. Reaction. Missimo or whatever. Columbia. Crop and borrow. NYC. Yes. Shape. Um, yes to the first three. What? What about that? Uh, well, there's a J Crew down, but those don't do well for me. Zoot. Core. Uh, BS has is a willing shirt. Seven listed. How much do they sell for? This one? Is this one? It's dark green behind the light green. That is a dark green behind the light green. Nope. No, you guys punked me. You guys straight up punked me. It's okay, though. It's okay. I know I mess around with people all the time, too. I deserve it. All right, there's some Tommy Hilfiger. Actually, for the record, Casey, if you're still in this chat, Tommy Hilfiger vintage, like Y2K jeans. I had, I had some uh, offers on them. I have them listed for like 70 bucks, and I have offers on them. So Y2K, like skater-looking wide leg. Tommy Hill figure. They have to like shout that they're Tommy Hill figure. Yes, it could be a pickup. Again, used to be lurking and cross listing. I know I see you in there. Um, so yeah. I just think in general, any like any Y2K wide leg gene is selling well. I mean Rockware, all the stuff that who would have thought? Like stuff that sold at like pennies back in the day. We got a we got a roadblock. Roadblock. Pamela, thanks for coming in. Any baggy embroidered jean sells? Y2K grunge stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, Nike. We got to stay focused. One row, right? One row. But I don't want to do these yet. So we're not going to stay focused. We're going to go down the men's section because that's my thing. Right? Bam. Bam. Look at that. Look, if you wear Lululemon to the thrift store, you're going to find Lululemon. I'm telling you. I've seen hype kids picking up vintage anchor blue. Let's go. Look, I'm telling you. You wear Lululemon to the store, you're, you're going to find Lululemon at the thrift store. I'm telling you. And that was the card I gave her space on, right? All right. Now we're going to look through it. Not the kids stuff, though. All right. Let's make it like last week. Victoria's Secret. I don't pick it up. I know some people pick some up. I'll pick it up. Joy Lab. Let's go. Bingo. All right. So now we also know that green tags, there could be more Lululemon in that section right there. Even those are, those are shorts. Hey, Teach. What's up, Lucy? Thanks for coming in, everybody. Um, if you missed last week's, it was it was bump. I think that is not. Whenever I see that logo, it's not good. Obviously, we all know by the logos by now. Especially y'all chicks probably know. But yeah, there's a Patagonia. Um, last week was a good one. I'm not going to get that for five bucks. Last week was a good one. So if you missed it, you can go to my YouTube channel and check it out because it was a good thrift. Okay, here's the last thing, Hard Gear. Anyone know who makes that brand right there? Anybody know? Um, last week will be hard to be. I know. I know. See, this Patagonia is it's nice, but for five bucks, I don't, I don't think it doesn't meet my metrics. I'm not going to be able to sell this for. I'd have to sell that for like eighteen or more. I don't think it will do that. Duluth, good job, guys. Duluth Hardware, yep. And this is a two XL tall, but it's just a regular shirt. Got that on the back. I don't know. Yeah, no problem. Yep. What to think about that one? What to think about that one? What do you guys think? Duluth. Yep. Does Patagonia do well on Poshmark? You know what? I just started on Poshmark. So I just started uh, my cross listing with Auto Posture on Poshmark. And um, I'm having good sales. But um, I have not I have not uh, put – I don't know if I, how much Patagonia I put over there yet. I'm still cross listing stuff. My whole eBay store is not even close to being over there. 
All right, we're going to put that in there for now. We'll definitely keep that in that, obviously. I'd get it. Okay, just pat it. Yeah. Just happened to be in the Ds. Across the thing. Oh, in the D section. Yeah. Oh, look. Again, why do we always find... I'm telling you, Athleta only makes extra small. Almost always. It's hard not to find it. Balanced jogger extra small. And these are faded, so I'm not going to get those. What do we have here? This is Lucy, right? We know that tag because if you see that tag, it's Lucy. That's a no go. It's a no go. But, oh, shoot. Dang. I look it up. Level 10. I get it. Oh. You guys are going to have to look at me for a second. Sorry about that. All right, let's keep going. Uh, uh, uh. Look, brown tag. We got to keep our eyes open for brown tag. All right, so this is the thing. All right, y'all help me right now. If you're watching this later, too, you help me. Okay, so these are Lulu. Really like a newer Lulu type, right? Lulu, they're cropped. But look, they're like a cropped jogger. They're like a cropped jogger, and they're Lulu. Ah. Victoria's Secret Seeker is doing good on Bosch. Is it? I'm about to look into that then. Look, it's got that V there. It's like that newer. I think it happens to like it makes your butt look big. I'm just telling you what I I'm just telling you what I see, what I notice. I'm just saying. Um, love the details. Have some. They're so comfortable. Yeah, these are like an I've never seen crop with a jogger like this in the V butt. Call that the V butt. So we're gonna go with that. Yep. We're gonna put that in there. Yes. We'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go back over to the jackets. Let's see where we at over here. Big Bay? No. You guys remember last week when uh, I left my cart and a person took it out of it and I felt really bad? Oh, I was such a jerk. Such a jerk. And then I gave it to her and I felt better, but still I was a jerk. Um, what size was that Duluth? It's a 2X. It's a 2X tall for Duluth. And you guys probably know that like a lot of Duluth is made that way. Like big size. Big size. Um... What's the price on the crop? Five bucks. Four ninety nine. Four ninety nine on so all the shirts, all the pants, a lot of stuff's four ninety nine. So thanks for the follow, Todd Jordan. Appreciate you. Uh yeah, so if you guys are new in here, what I do now full time is buy and resell. It was a really good side hustle for the majority of my life. And then it became my full time. So I enjoy it. So I teach people, I've been doing it a long time, and I kind of teach people some things, and I learn things from other people in the community too. All right, but we are right now looking for, okay, got to be focused, brown, because that was a brown tag, right? Uh, my Goodwill overprices everything it's doing. Yep, some of ours do, some of ours don't. It just depends where you go to, just depends in the back, if they know what they're doing. Again, looking for Lulu and brown, just depends. Um, again, I've been to a lot of different places and, uh, it, it depends like Chicago, they were pricing up, um, Columbia jackets to twenty nine ninety nine, and then they had North face jackets for like $14. So I'm not sure. Someone tried to take my wagon at the flea market this week. What? AZ? I wouldn't doubt that at the flea market. I mean, they could just run off with it. I could see that happen. Everything is six nine nine, eight nine nine, twelve nine nine. Yeah, so my, I would be more picky. All my items, like there's more athleta size small, can't do it. Um, I'd be more picky. I couldn't get those items that I buy for for five. They're spanks, spank size small. Ooh, these are like leather feeling. Even though these are size small, guys, these are nice feeling. The store's hitting again. I'm telling you, it's luck. You guys are helping me. But look, right? Aren't these pretty good? Yeah, so my Polo Ralph Lauren shirts that I sell for $20 all the time, if they were $8.99, I don't know if I could do that. These are these feel like faux leather. Have you guys seen this before? These Sphinx? I have not. They look brand new, too. I don't know. Sophia, you think yes? Tag looks brand new. A lot of times these tags are really faded when Sphinx are not good. You guys know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to get them, even though they're small. Women's whatnot, you think? Someone buy those for 10 something? I'm leaving my cart back there. You know how we do? We just leave it. We just leave it. Okay. Keep your eyes open for brown. Brown. 
Um, get them. Those Spanx were at Ross. Uh, just an FYI. What do you think? First day. My first day of 22 days. Beach. What are you talking about, right? Jerry? You're on a beach for 12. Are you working? Are you on site working somewhere? Shoot. Let me go back to uh, Brown. Um, have you tried Jamble? No, I haven't. I don't know Jamble. It just looks like Lulu. Oh, it is Lulu. There's some more Lulu. Um, these are kind of, see how they're you got a little bit of that pilling. I don't think I can do that. You guys know I'm very particular. See all that pilling and stuff around there? I don't like that. And they're kind of cropped. You guys are going to be so mad at me. Lululemon, five bucks. I'm going to leave behind. Uh, hey, sir, do you have a little Western? Yes, I do. And I actually put them in my room. Little Denny, IG me. IG me. I have, I have both of them out in my, in my room because I was going through my stuff. I'm like, I need to get those out for him. But yeah, I do. I do. Lulu does amazing on them. Um, on, uh, on the, what's the site? Okay. So on Jamble. So what I do is all the women's clothing I find, I resell on my whatnot show and I start everything at a dollar. I mean, everything. And people in the chat know, like, if I find, if I find whatever, um, Mar what was it, Mar Marnie or something last time, Bar Mario, anything, anything women's, I'll put my whatnot show that's nice. Got to be nice. And I just started at a dollar. So that's what I do with my women's clothing. If you see anything women's, it's going to my whatnot show. I have a link to it at surfsupfinds.com. Yeah, I'm cool like that. I made a website. Don't worry about it. Why pass on Spanx? I didn't. I put them in my cart. Um, where? What were Spanx? How much do you buy and sell bike polos for? Um, bike polos? I don't know bike polos. That's exactly what Jamble is. I just uh, think you'll have more monotonous. Oh, my bad. Lily, I didn't know that. Um, there was another pair. Camo ones? Camo Spanx. Like camo, like green camo? Like this? Are these Sphinx? No. You got, are you guys tricking me again? Are you guys punking me again? Are you guys getting together and saying, let's punk them two times? Two times. Gray? Gray camo. Gray camo. These? 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 Not these. These? Nike Pro? I don't know. You totally deserve it. Oh, Reisner. Yeah. That's just me. I didn't even see. How much do you buy and sell by Polo Store? Reza, I didn't even see what you said. I'm guessing you deserve it. I'm guessing that means like you're going on the, you're on vacation now. I don't know. I don't know where those spanks are you guys are talking about. I don't see any more camo. I did pass on those Lulu though. Are these what you're talking about? I don't see those. Those are not. After the Lulu? Where was that pair of Lulu? Man, these right here? These? Spanx, oh my gosh. You guys are so sweet. I don't know, what do you think? I didn't even see that. I'm used to the red tag. Small. I mean, most Spanx are probably small. What do you guys think? These are like, they have a green, they have a little bit, they're camo. What do you guys think? Five bucks. I think I think that person's still donating last week. They're still putting out stuff because look at all these brown tags from last week. So there's too small. So I could just I could maybe just put those together and whatnot. Too small, two for one. There's a there's your free people movement, but it's all haggard. So we're not gonna get that. Man, we're brown tag and green tag. Boy, I'm gonna be in here. Brown tag really mostly just for the women's stuff. We didn't find good men's stuff last week. Uh, it was a screen print tag. There we go. You guys got it. All right. We'll keep looking. What are some brands of women's clothing that I should be looking for that I don't know yet? You know, like only women's clothing that are really good. I'm not talking like $20 sales. I'm talking like they're so really, really good. So I want to know. Black with red piping was Zaya. Yes. So I don't pick Zaya up anymore. Um, actually, I put it in my 
Facebook group, um, there's an Athleta. I put up that I don't buy Zaya anymore. I said Zaya's the new LuLaRoe. They're going to be the new LuLaRoe. These look really nice. These these look really nice. See how they have that like... Yeah, I think these are nice, right? Black Milk, I never heard of it. Garnet Rose, Anthropology Dresses. Johnny Was, for sure. I love Johnny Was. What do you guys think here? We'll, we'll give these a thought. I don't know. How's the gusset? Mm, gusset's pretty pilled. I'd say no. Mob, you know what? I haven't had a great luck with Mob. I know it's very expensive. We went to Disney and went to the Anthropology store, and I believe they sell it there. Well, I know they sell it there because we saw it there. And it, uh, the resale value is not where I want it to be, to be honest. I mean, it's good. I, if it's good pieces, I'd pick it up, like embroidery or whatever. But yeah, for sure. Chrissy Dawn, Jenny Kang, Black Milk. Black Milk. That one will stick out to me. I've never heard of that one. Why are we going through this before the men's session? This is not like me. Totally not like me. All right. No, no. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to be looking at brown, too. Under Armour is the new George. Is it, though? Is it? I felt Under Armour. I still do. But, yes, Under Armour has gone downhill. Andrew. Andrew. I know you're up, too, in here. Black Milk. Yes, Reisner. Capital Letters. If you're watching this later on YouTube, which this will be put on my YouTube later on, um, Reisner, I'll mention Reisner. She's a master seamstress, and she knows everything about every brand. So she, I've learned a lot from her, and I've been reselling clothing for a long time now. All right, I'm getting, I don't know if I can go through all these. Leggings are not my favorite. Vintage Su Wong. Okay, leggings are, get so boring, so saturated. Always good stuff in there, though. I know. That's why I, I was literally just thinking that. I cannot go through all these. Just like dresses. I cannot go through the dresses. It just, it's just going to be what it is. You know, maybe we'll go down here to the bigger section. Let's see if we can find some, like, average size stuff. Motion 365? No. Marcella, Marcella Moda? I don't know that one. The last store I got. Um, all right, you guys let me know in the chat. Do you like Athleta, Athleta leggings with the zippers? Are those good? Because I find those, I feel like they're made a little bit better. And I don't know if I should, like, should be picking those up for the women's. Is that something, you know, people like that or not Not the zippers? Because I could see, like, people not wanting the zippers because they scratch stuff up or whatever. But I want to know. Do you pick up Brax pants? Brax, Brax. Um, I have. If you look at my eBay store, you'll see that I still have some listed. Brax can do well sometimes. Um, but I do pick up flax. I picked some up today earlier. That will be in whatnot too. Uh, girls dream to go to dresses. Ah, but they're just, they're high. Okay, my arm gets tired. Listen, my shoulder gets tired. I'll be honest. It just gets so tired. Um, light blue color of the season. Yes. I was putting in the Facebook group the other day, get your, or actually I just posted, I don't know where I posted it. I said, get your linen stuff listed. She just put that out. That's a brand new cart. That's little Hoosiers. That's cute. Look how cute that was. Brand new cart. I didn't even see it come in. Dang. Uh, it's probably Lulu Row or something. Uh, what was that Hound's toothpiece? I don't know. I don't know. Athleta size zero. Can't. See, there's the zips. That's what I'm talking about. Like that. Like those are really nice. The joggers at the bottom. But a size zero is too small. That like, Going through dresses is hard work. It's hard work. I'm telling you. You know what though? If I do it, it would be like my workout for the day, right? I mean, right? See, I can't do the size zero Athleta. Those are old Athleta too. Yeah, with that tag like that. They don't have the name of the actual model. Good point. So we're all in agreement. We're going to pass on the Athleta. Uh, we're going to pass on that. There's new tags Puma for 6 bucks. I'm not going to get that. Puma just does not sell well for me. Unless it's a soccer team. Joe's. I remember when all these jeans and women's used to be such a good pickup. Joe's jeans and women's. Hudson and women's. Joe's. Those would have been like really good pieces right there. But they're not. 
anymore, unfortunately. I live in Indiana, originally from Ohio. No resident can tell me tell me what a Hoosier is. Think of it. I know, right? I went to Purdue. We're boiler makers. We make boilers. Is where that's where I went to school. So I think they're popular. Um, kills with shoulders. We are watching and see if we want you to purchase um, a frost if we pay you on the spot. Um, if we are watching and see something we want to purchase, uh, I do that, Amy, on certain things. Like last week I did that for somebody. Usually if it's like something I'm not going to pick up, I'll do it. Like if it's like these, no. Like I'll make it fair and put those in my whatnot show and start them at a dollar. So, and I'm not like a, I don't make money off this. I don't like personal shop for people and stuff like that. Um, Yukon baby. Okay. I got Yukon going pretty far. So you make one. Uh, do you check the purses? I don't because, um, our purses here, like they're very slim. Well, there's some down there, but I don't, uh, just because there's so many knockoffs, I don't want to mess with that. I just don't want to mess with that. I don't want to be burned. The only time I'll look at purses, if I go to an estate sale and it's a really, really high end estate sale, they might put stuff really cheap. I might look at some purses there. But no, I don't typically. I look at bags. I will look at bags. Two, two, no. All right, we'll go down here for now. Get some room, you know what I mean? There's your Spanx. So we found some Spanx. We found some Lulu. Let's go down to the men's section and see if we can find anything. We're not going to look really at brown tags in the men's. Last week we didn't find anything. I don't pick up a whole lot of Wrangler. Um, dry fit. I, some um, Nike does well for me. The blade collars do well. But definitely if he has like an automotive group on there, it's a no-go. This is something I get asked all the time. Brooks Brothers shirts. People pick them up. I only pick them up. They have the little logo right here, and they're lettered. Small, medium, large, extra large, 2XL, whatever. They have to have the little logo. They have to be $5. Um, or if they're a really big size, which 18 and a half is actually a big size, that equates to almost like a 2 and a half to 3XL. Found my first pair of orange tab Levi's this week. Bell bottoms. Ooh, those would be good. Not only are they made in USA orange tabs, but bell bottoms are hot right now. From experience, I'd list those right now because by next fall, they're probably going to be out of style. Just saying. Levi's never really. That's not Detroit, but that would have been nice. That's a vintage kind of ish, like 2000s, early 2000s. Paid eight bucks. Let's go. That's how much ours are. That would have been great. Carhartt, just a Carhartt t shirt? No. You can get those at Ross now for like 15. Uh huh. No problem. No problem. Oh, good morning, Brad. What's up, Liv? Hope you're having a good day. Hope everyone's having a good day. It's cold here in Indy. It was warm for like a minute, and then it got cold. Should I get this for, look, 1-0? Oh? Should I get this for Wayne? 1% better every day. That's my slogan. I love that. 1% better every day. We should get that and send it to Wayne. He needs to get better. He needs to get better. I think he needs to get 1% better. I think the hardest thing is listing them. Uh, yeah. Listing is the hardest thing for everything. No one likes to list. We just like to shop all day. Valley Thrift Store. Are, okay. Got you. These Nike Combats, um, I pick up some of them, but most of them I pass on. So I would just say pass. And then as like for Hawaiian shirts, maybe um, Tommy Bahama. Okay. Now this one to 3XL. Good size, five dollars. Okay, so this is one that a lot of people might pass up. There's nothing, no embroidery, no clubs, no car dealerships, nothing like that. This is a newer. See how that that font style? That's actually the newer ish uh, font that they put on Nike. So this is newer, standard fit into three XL. This is a little bit harder to find at a store. So this will sell for around twenty dollars. I love shopping morning, Tammy. Found a pair of silver tabs for a dollar. Resold them for eight. Yes. Please have some silver tabs in there. That would be amazing. Silver tabs in there would be amazing. But yeah, that 3XL Nike, that's your exception. There's there's some. That's a good good example of one that I would pick up. I don't pick up all Nike like that. 
Don't pick up all of them. J. Crew, same thing with J. Crew. Okay, so I'm gonna be just looking for green. I'm not gonna pick that one up, it's small. Under Armour, J. Crew, H and M. Untuck it. I'm gonna leave this untuck it here. It's a long sleeve. We talked about this last week. Not picking that one up. So you mentioned about my auto posh here. If you could check it when you get time later, sure. The best mama, sure. Yep. Also, if you guys are a reseller, I will look into auto posh. It's a good uh good place to resell some use it's an automation. This is a Cambray shirt. Um it's an automated like an AI um assistant that you pay to share your stuff on Poshmark recreate sent out offers on Poshmark and eBay and it's coming out with a cross lister. Okay. Cambray or Chambray, whatever you say you guys know I'll never pronounce that right. These do well for me and J. Crew, but the problem is those two little dots right there. It's outlet. So I don't think I can get that. Uh what about Nat Nash shorts? I don't pick them up. <clears throat> I don't pick them up. You're going to public rec pants for five bucks each. Yep. I would definitely pick those up. That's a for sure pickup. Um, auto posture has been great for me since cross lister has started. Yes. So the cross lister I think is going to be available to the public. Um, if you, if you are already a Poshmark member, you, you got the cross lister, um, or you're, you're able to access it now, but, um, it's going to be released to everybody here soon. And again, search up fine.com. I have a coupon for auto posture if you want to use it, but I'll also talk about when I go packing live. Um, chambre, chambre, riser, chambre, riser. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, better than that. You know, a, a teacher for 13 years who should be able to pronounce things, right? No, not me, not me. Passing up on that, Brooks Brothers, chambre, everyone, chambre. I uh, got my first Brioni two piece suit with hanger, caught my eye, brass duck head with wood. Ooh, Brioni two piece suit. That is a bolo. Brioni is a bolo. I have I haven't found Brioni in a while, but I can't I can't complain because I have found purple label three suits in the past couple of months. That's like maybe once a year type of thing. But yeah, Brioni is money every day, every day. Love your life, Thrust. Thanks, nurse. I you know what we got to be real like. This is more realistic. We're not going to be finding a whole lot of good stuff. I wish I could sit here and show you like, oh my gosh, one really hot piece after another. But you also need to know what's not good. Like everything I'm passing, everything's $5 here. So if I'm passing it, I'm not going to spend $5 on it. And like it'd have to sell for 20 or more for me to buy it. And I'm not getting it. <clears throat> so if you find, what's up, Sean? If you find anything there, I'm going to throw my phone for it. I, Sean, it's not it's not hitting today. Don't worry. Sean was here yesterday. He texted me, or he messaged me and said I was here yesterday. They don't have anything. It's not it's not hitting too hard. We found a few things. We found a few things, but not a lot. There's that John Barbados again. Uh, we talked about it last week. I don't pick up John Barbados, even though they sell it at Nordstrom's for a lot of money, unless it has the the peace symbol on the chest, the little hit on the chest. I don't pick it up again. We're looking for just green. So just green right now. Uh, in suits, what's the difference between blue and green Ralph Lauren? So if you see Ralph Lauren on a suit that's men's, it says Ralph Lauren. If it's blue or green, not much. But if it says polo Ralph Lauren on a suit, it's worth a little bit more. Okay? Um, if you see a purple label, that is worth the most. But a lot of... So like the blue Ralph Lauren, it has to say Ralph Lauren, not Polo Ralph Lauren. Those were made, I think, for Dillard's. More, more of them were made for Dillard's. Um, the green ones, a lot of the green were made for Macy's. It's like that. The screen probably says uh, Lauren Ralph Lauren. Yep. Uh, that price discipline is important skill and difficult to master. Yep. Reisner. And let me say this too for people. This is like, you should just be quoted all the time. Just quote me. Don't come to a thrift store and buy stuff just because you're like, oh, I'm here. I better just buy something because I'm here. That Don't do that. That's how you build like a death pile of stuff that you don't want to list. Like, oh, I, can, I can get $15 out of that, and it might sell in a few months. I wouldn't do it, in my opinion. Would not do it. 
the one that your buy cost seems to be the cheapest because then you can undercut. Also, look, there's Herschel. Those are good. Um, your buy cost is important because you can undercut the rest of the market. Um, these are good. It's like a little backpack, Herschel. It's $7.99 now. It's, it's like a mini. I don't know. Used to do that at garage sales because I felt bad walking out with nothing. I know. It's You just got to have that discipline. All right, back to suits. How far did we get down here? You guys remember? Did we go all the way down? I feel like we did. Yeah, we did. And we turned around after that. There's a gentleman down there. Uh, that's so cute. I know. Isn't that cute? But I don't know how well it will do. What is this? Oh, uh, I thought it was this. I thought this was an outer known. It has that same look. It's not outer known. Outer known's a good brand, guys. But that one's not. That one's not outer known. So we're going to leave it alone. Ooh, this looks like a decent. Oh, Jay Benzel. See, this is a um, really, really nice custom suit place here in Indy. So this is a really nice pair of pants. So there could be some green tags with other really nice things. Curly shorts I pick up. Again, I talked about it last week. I'll pick these boardwalk shorts up. They have a button like that, but they have to say Nike Dry Fit right here. I'll pick those up, sell them for like $18.99. Nooner? Don't even with me about a nooner today when I'm not available. I'm unavailable for a nooner today. Don't even go there with me. I could do like a I could do like a three or like a mid afternoon, you know? Get a get a little bit more in there. See you. Um nooner. Both of you guys. You're not. You lie. You both lie. Wayne's gonna take his nap. I know what he does. I've been there on Wednesdays. All right, someone in the other day was like, what brand is this? I'm pretty sure that's Wrangler. Those are, that's a no blow. No bow right there. Afternoon Delight. See, that's what I'm talking about. You guys, are you guys being for real? Because I, I want some Afternoon Delight. You know, guys, if you're new in here, we're not nasty talk. Well, it gets a little nasty in there, but not real nasty, nasty. All right, still looking for those green tags. Again, that Jay Bensel, so... Something else I talk about sometimes, like if you find, like this is a custom whatever, um, suit tailor in our city, wherever it went. And so if that's here, a lot of times I'll see that and I'll see it with Nordstrom brands as well. So that's what I'll be looking for. We are nasty talking. Ooh, ooh, stop getting me going. All right, focus, focus, Nautica, no. And by the way, today, if everyone didn't know, it is um, March the 20th. Very important date. March the 20th. It just is. Those who know that know. Uh, GS115 are trying to be like um, G Star. It's like an off brand G Star. So it's a no go. No go. No go on those. Ooh, so these feel nice. Ooh, in coat. See? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. Those shorts, and then this is a brand they carry at Nordstrom right here. Although they are brown tag from last week. Ooh, they even have a zipper right here. Okay, anyone familiar with this brand right here? And this is a um, this is a mole, mole skin or mole, uh, I forget what they call it, but whatever. It's that feeling. It's like mossy, but uh, in, to in Kotex? In Kotex, this is a good brand. They sell this. This is probably like a two hundred, two hundred fifty dollar pair of pants. Um, high comfort. I'm seeing if it has any like special fabric in it. But yeah, it's yours. It's my birthday. What is it? Cam? Yeah, Camos. But isn't it right? Is it something about mole? Like, don't you put mole in it too? What do you pick them up? The thing I like about these in, in Kotex are not regular dress pants. They have these little extra pockets right there. For your gadgets and they have this little secret zipper right there for five bucks this brand does pretty good what do you guys think that would take a lot of moles to make those pants right it's actually not like real mole i don't know why they call it that reisner's the genius ask her reisner's on vacation in here thrifting with me what are you doing right there those look like bonobos they are i don't normally pick this brand up but these are, this is a good colorway. Pink 
and it looks like it's a longer size. Let's see, double check. $38.32, hmm. I don't know, what do you guys think? Mole skin, mole, mile, oh, I can't pronounce that, but that's what it is, see? I'm, all I type in is that on eBay. Yes, for snacks, extra pockets, extra snacks. I know, Bearded, we all know you like snacks. Everyone knows you like snacks. Got to feed the beard. So I don't usually pick up Bonobo's pants, but these are a really unique color. But I'm not going to pick them up because they just don't do that well for me. So I just need to move on. Move on. Brown tags. Why was that brown tags? That makes me want to look for more brown tags. I want to stay focused on green. L.L. Bean. Not going to get those. Um, get them. What's up, Angie? Summer's coming. I know. What do you guys think on Bonobo? Thumbs up, thumbs down in the chat. Be my deciding factor. Hey, and it's my money to spend them, so don't even try to spend my money on it. Uh, so I don't, know. I don't know. There's Brooks Brothers pants. I don't get these. I don't get Brooks Brothers just regular chinos anymore. Used to. They stopped selling for me, and I sit on them, so don't pick them up anymore. Learn the hard way. A short answer, and contacts never cheap. And pick up always. There you go. So, never cheap. Pick up always. In, oh, in whatever brand. You guys saw it. Ooh, BKE. I love BKE. It's my favorite jean to sell. Yes, please. Uh, hey, guys. What's up, Jared? Hey, guys. Okay, BKE, Jake Straight. Yep. So, BKE are my favorite jeans to pick up. No, they're not huge money. But these are a pair of jeans that I find often, and they sell pretty quickly for me. So I can buy these at $7.99, price them anywhere from $28 to $32.99, plus buyer pay shipping, and they sell. So I'm going to get these. Now be careful with the names. I don't buy women's. I only buy men's. But yeah, I'm going to pick those up. Remind me of yoga pants you pick up. Remind me what yoga pants I pick up. She got, um... Beyond Beyond Yoga, Lululemon, Viore are the best right now, I think. Um, people in the chat can say some, but those are the ones I'm thinking about right off, right off my, my dome. Uh, raw Supply, no. That's not a good one. BKE, yep. BKE, Andrew. BKE. And you'll see there's a ton of different. There's a Jake. There's um, a Tyler. There's a bunch of different kinds. Okay, so we went down. Do we go down this? Right? Do we go down this? You guys remember? I already forget. I feel like we did, right? Yes? No? The long sleeve men's? Mm, that yellow bean did not look familiar. Yeah, we did. 100% we did. AG? Yes, I get four pair. I pick up four types of AG jeans. Um, really, there's two I don't pick up. They're called the Protege and the Hero. Those are the two I don't pick up. Um, today's the first day of spring. I didn't know that. Do you know that? Bearded, are you still in here? I got something to show you. Uh, why so only? Um, because what sells and what doesn't sell. So AG, the Telus, the Graduate, the Ives, and the Everett. Did I say that one? Um, either way. Ooh, I like that. For the personal. It's too small though. But yeah. Uh, those sell for me. The other two don't sell as well they sit and i don't want inventory sitting if i can buy the same jean at the same price and sell it quicker i'd rather do that ted baker i don't pick up that brand anymore i just cross listed this brand over to um poshmark with auto posher i don't pick that up anymore so dude, bk jeans yeah so i like bk they're my favorite there's that travis matthew remember we put it back and decided not to pick that one up um, look, is this bearded threader in here still? Yep. There you go. See all this Fortnite. Oh, Fortnite. Oh my gosh. I just started playing Fortnite. Oh my gosh. I forget my Fortnite characters. I wonder how much these are. Dang. Dang. Scan them. I could I'll scan them for like, uh, yeah, I could. But I can't do that right now because I'm on the phone with y'all. Okay, I'm looking for green. And then we'll go ahead in the women's. Is that Swanee? 
blessing thing. Might be worth something. Yeah, I don't know. It all depends how much you're asking for those little things. It's a great example. If those things sell for five bucks a piece, and they're asking two, no way I'm picking them up. And I know they're not going to ask what I'm about to say, but like at a garage sale, I can see people like they're a quarter a piece or, you know, three for a dollar or whatever. And that would be worth it because there were a lot of them that are the same kind. So you could just list one and then multiple with 10. Um, uh, I'll look them up later. They're not going anywhere. They're not going anywhere. We'll go look through the women's a little bit. No way I can look through the green and the women's today. I mean the uh, brown. Even though that's what we found all the good stuff in. The brown colors. Brown tags from last week. Can't. Can't. Found Ashford. What is that brand? PGA Tour? Nope. Not a good brand. Go Boilermakers. That's older. Don't pick up that. I do pick up newer college polo shirts that are Nike, Adidas, uh, Under Armour. Stuff like that. Brands like that. I'll pick up if it's a well-known college. Like a Big Ten or a SEC team. Something like that. Big East. Or whatever it is. Whatever the East is. ACC. Alright. So there's what we have so far. Some Inco Texas. This is a Nordstrom's brand. That's a good one. Keep your eyes open for that brand. Let's go. Hard goods or jeans? Hard goods or women's jeans? Quick check. Quick. Quick, quick. ACC, yeah. Her goods, her goods are jeans. Her goods are jeans. Her goods are jeans. Jeans. Okay. Yeah, because her goods here aren't that great. Okay, we're, we can look for a little bit of brown tag in here. Can Can. I found a pair of Can Can at the last thrift store, new with tags, and I left them. Was that a mistake? It said Can Can by Mar Maurice's, so I'm guessing Maurice's make Can Can. What do you guys think? Is that a mistake for seven ninety nine? What is the black label, Ralph Lauren? Lauren, uh, most of the black labels um, aren't great. There is a black label. You can do like some research on Google that Ralph Lauren makes that are good, but most of them are not. YMG VIP 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 jeans. Through here, I want to be looking for like Judy Blues. Mother, some of those, some like those, especially new tags. Um, especially new tags. Ugh, I passed them. These are men's out. They shouldn't be in here. This brand used to sell, but oh my gosh, not a good brand to sell anymore. David Bitten, whatever its name is, whatever that brand is right there. Buffalo, David Bitten Buffalo. Yeah, brand is awful. Unless you get it for a buck, if you get it for a buck, it's probably worth it. And by cost, most important thing. Don't sleep on Ball State. Sells like crazy for us. Does it? Okay. So the smaller schools too? Ball State's near me. I almost went to Ball State. Why? Because my grades were not good enough to get in Purdue. So I went to a local college for a year. Got straight A's. Went to Purdue. How about that? Just to get a degree in education. To be thrifting full time, which you don't need a degree in. Jeez, Louise, who would have thought? Um, I will say this, silver Suki jeans that are really big sizes do well for me. This is a silver jean that's really big. Uh, but silver Suki do well for me if they're really big sizes. At least they used to. I guess I haven't found them in a while. Um, yeah, especially being in Indiana. American Eagle, no. Flower, no, no. Almost Famous, no. So right over here, smaller jeans, wherever they are. A lot of times smaller jeans is where I find like the mother. It's sad. It's sad that you find all the really good jeans a lot of times in really small sizes. That's not in bigger sizes. Okay. Let's go to the other side of the jeans. See what we can find. Yeah, these are the smaller sizes. We'll go through here. Uh, so glad you're alive today. Casey, I tell you what. I appreciate that. Um, I know yesterday I was listing all day, so there's nobody live during the day. And I love listing, listening to lives and what people find and all that sort of stuff. And there's no one live. Couldn't watch anything. 
I like watching re repeat lives. I'll watch other repeat lives, but not live live. Look, tummy tuck jeans. Let's be good for someone, you know, including myself. They made them in men's. White House Black Market. Ooh, what is that? Blue. Okay, that's nothing. I had me, though. I had me for a second. What size sells best? Um, NMJ for men. Usually the good brands, the bigger, the better. So like a brand, I always bring this up, Polo Ralph Lauren. You find a large Polo Ralph Lauren versus a um, 3X or a 4X. That 4X or 3X is going to sell for more money. So for the most part, bigger, the better is what she said. I'm going thrifting now. Two Goodwills and changing a clutch into a Mustang. Ooh, changing a clutch and a Mustang. What year Mustang? That's my talk. That's my kind of talk. Have fun with that. Hopefully it's warm where you live. Or you're doing it in a shop. Or even on a lift. Um, again, go, I'm going to be looking at some brown tags, guys. Sorry if I'm not giving you a good view. Got to work on that. Do you find barefoot dreams? <sighs> for some reason, I live in a cold place for a lot of the year. I do not find barefoot dreams. But then, there's people like Wayne and Kayla who live in Florida, and they find barefoot dreams all the time. I don't get it. I don't find barefoot dreams. I don't know about you guys, but I don't find them. Like two times, two or three times I found them. And I was on a Judy Blues, like, losing streak and i found two last week that was good uh you got to check the pjs check this out boom we're gonna be checking those out in a second found three barefoot dreams right when that out never again see i i know i don't maybe maybe they found out maybe they found out i did go to shop goodwill um yesterday two days ago and they had locally Locally, a really nice Kooji that they took out and put on shopgoodwill.com and went for 180 bucks. True or false that I bid on it? True. Just saying. So, Barefoot Dreams, usually I know what the feel is, right? I wish I could find one, so some of you know what we're talking about that don't know, but I really never find Barefoot Dreams. Um, I found two in the bins the same day, same clothes, same different. I could see that because you guys know if you have barefoot dreams, little bum bums. I like the name. Um, after a couple, you know, a couple washes, it feels or it looks a little dingy, but it's not. That's just how it's supposed to look. Um, and yeah, I could see them go to the bins because, but I mean, like, still, this stuff, a lot of this stuff is nasty. Just saying. Uh, I was so excited to find my first barefoot dreams myself, and I hate the feeling. It makes my skin crawl. Oh, really? You don't like the way it feels? Well, you're used to very fun. Oh, Royal Caribbean. Guys, I'm going on a cruise in two weeks. I'm so excited. Um, Yeah, and there's my girlfriend, Ray, from Star Wars. Just saying. It's my girlfriend. Um, What do you think of items that Goodwill sells online? What do you think of the items Goodwill sells online? I think that Goodwill is in the business to make as much money as they can to um, promote their, like this chick right here. I see her at a different location. Hold on. This chick right here. I see her at a different location. She purges. She takes the color of the week off. If it wasn't for Goodwill, she probably wouldn't be having a job. So Goodwill is in the business to make as much money as they can to provide services like that and their CEOs get paid a ton of money. So if, I have mixed emotions about it. I have mixed emotions about it, but I am going to do a video. I've already decided. I thought about this the last two days. I'm going to do a video in my area of the Goodwills. People like to say it's only for people needy to shop there. I'm going to show you where all the Goodwills are in my area. Most of them, especially the big stores. I've never heard of this brand. Don't know this brand. You guys know this one? Just feels like microfiber cloth. It's a sensory thing for me. I get it. Hey, I get it. I don't like wearing wool, like uh, Gibson. Like I don't like wearing um, Pendletons. I know it's more of like you wear it over stuff. I don't care. Don't like it. There's a tie bear. That's got to be worth a ton of money. 
Ooh, it, it's, it's even the older one with this no star. Man, that's got to be worth a ton of money. Look at that lemonade. All right, do a quick one run through through here. They're really good here at this store um, with hard goods. They pick them out and put them on shop goodwill. I rarely find good things at this store. So I don't think I'm going to look really too much here. With State of Man, Indiana. Unfortunately, I stopped donating to Goodwill. I just offer stuff of free pick up my place. Yep. Yep. I think that's a good idea. I, I want to do more of like, I did it for a while. Look at these little cups. So, hi guys, by the way, I'm Brad. Um, I did it for a while where I posted on Facebook, like, you know, before you donate your clothes, I will buy from you. If you're interested, I'm looking for brands and I made a whole list of brands and I got so many people messaging me. There's fate. If I have any, if I pass any good uh, dresses, you guys let me know. And I had so many people messaging me what they had and they were asking like eBay prices. I'm like, no, I said, if you're going to donate, I would purchase them. I would tell them like what, even what good will ask. And they're like, nope. Okay. Max studio. Nope. So do you think I should go to that goodwill tomorrow? Wait till Friday. I'd wait till Friday. Give them another day. Uh, you find Pokemon toys here. I don't, I'm not good with that. Um, make a video and I'll sit you with mine. Okay. Yes. Meg, your videos are so funny. I love Meg. Her videos are great. I love them. Yeah. I said I wasn't going to look through dresses, but we'll see. If you go to my local Goodwill, there's nothing worth what they are charging. Yeah. That's up near Bearded where he lives. They charge minimum eight ninety nine per item for clothing. It's in their clothing is just ridiculously not good. So I don't know. I don't know. It is what it is. To be honest, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you've been watching my live packs, I've been packing a lot of retail arbitrage stuff. I'm doing better the last year with going to actual stores when they have sales and buying stuff than going to thrift stores. So, and the thrift stores have to be feeling that too, right? I'm looking for figs up here. The, th the thrift stores have to be feeling that. So, nothing through there. I don't know if I want to go through any more women's. I'm not over. Trish, how long does it take you to get on Amazon? Um, I don't actually sell on Amazon. I'm not... Um, I know a lot of people are going on to Amazon. Um, I haven't done that. We will go through this women's section right here in pants. I think I already see Athleta. Look at that. You can just see a little, little dot sticking out at you. And you know it's Athleta. We're going to go through here. Um, I got to get better at retail game. I feel like I never know. And retail is dangerous. I don't recommend, you know, you can, like all that retail stuff I bought. I sat on a lot of money for a long time. I looked at it like an investment, like a stock. Oh, that's a zero. We looked at those earlier, didn't we? No, these are actually different than the ones we looked at zero earlier, right? Look at all these zips and look at all this stuff. Too bad those aren't bigger. Like these zips and all this stuff. I don't know. I know it's an older one, but whatever. Yeah. I missed my comment about Ohio Goodwill. My bad, Christy. I think Goodwill should have a set price, like dresses at price regardless. Yeah, so these are all $7.99. Ours are doing better. They went away from that for a while, and then they went back to that. Um, Christy, let me try to find your comment. Um, man, you said it twice. In Ohio, they now have a list of what not to put out on the floor. They save it for the website. Yeah, they do that here too. Um, I've been doing Goodwills for years and years, and I'm you know make friends with a lot of the workers, and um, yeah, they have lists. And they send it between the stores and the corporate sends them. But the thing is, I mean, the Gucci's and all that stuff, they're always going to be on lists. But there are always new brands coming in and out of style. So men's polos, for example. They, their list for a long time. There's someone there, so I'm going to back off. Um, their list for a long time on men's polo shirts were um, Nike and Under Armour. Priced those up to $10. So they priced them all up to $10. Well, guess what? They're back down because no one's buying them. Why? Because there are better brands out there. Better brands. And newer. And guess what? Those newer brands are going to be around for like three years. And then they're going to go out of style. And there's going to be another brand. So it's just, it's always cat and mouse. You just have to stay ahead. What retail shirts do you think are good? Um, you just, you guys need to, if you're looking for retail arbitrage, 
I really recommend you looking for um, stores that will have really big discount sales and then be there during the really big discount sales. So Marshalls and PJ Maxx do two a year where they do yellow tag events and stuff goes super, super cheap. Um, Ross, they have big discount sales, that sort of thing. Even online arbitrage. Just sign up for emails. Sign up for coupons. Sign up for all that sort of stuff. Super easy. You can, go, you can spend a day just all the places you're thinking about and sign up. And maybe you'll get a couple a year that are good. And that's all it takes. Just go wow. Just go wow with those couple. Thanks, Christy, for the follow. Uh, how do you find out the dates? Um, my price is North Face, Columbia, Rock Public, find the other stuff. Yeah, exactly. They price up all that stuff too. Um, sometimes they don't. Most of the time they do. So, for example, um, let's say, I don't know what everyone has in their town, but Burlington Coat Factory. They put out e emails or whatever. Um, if you have like an outlet center, like an outlet place, a lot of those stores will put out like, you know, different things like coach, you know, coach will send like this weekend only, you know, take an extra 25% off, stuff like that. And then you look for the end of season and it's like, take an extra 50% off the extra markdown price. It's like discount on discount on discount just to get rid of this stuff. And that's when you want to go hauling out when that happens. Um, how do you feel? Avoid the bins. Uh, bins are not for me. I, I like the bins. But I'm not guaranteed to get stuff at the bins. So this store would have been in and out of already. But I like to do live thrifting. But yeah, I don't do I don't do the bins. I'm not guaranteed. Um, I don't like. It's just too much for me. It's not my style. Not my style. Uh, what margin do you look for to buy something and sell it? Like either retail or thrift stores. Um, so it depends, right? Uh, if it's a thrift store, I want to make. If I spend $5, I want to make at least $12 profit on it. And it's got to be under five minutes to list that item or less, like legit under five minutes. Um, U.S. Border Patrol. Huh. That's an interesting one right now. With everything going on. Milwaukee. Milwaukee usually is a good hat, but it's got a stain. Um, but yeah. Uh, and then when it comes to retail arbitrage, it's different. Because in here, what? there's another one. We're talking about 4 actually my money on margin, right? But you go to retail arbitrage, I'll spend $200 on something to sell it for $300. i am you know, I'm not, my margin isn't as big, but I'm making more money. Well, just like a car would be. You know, you buy a car for $20,000, sell it for thirty, dollars sort of thing. Why do you pass on those seven jeans? Were they seven for all mankind jeans? I don't buy them unless they're dojo. I don't buy Melissa Dojo. Yeah, I can't go through all this. You guys know me in the women's. I can't do it. That's it. Do you have a Savers? Monday entire store half off. We don't have a Savers in Indy. That looks like Spanx right there. It's not. We don't have Savers here in Indy. Uh, we did, There's one in Chicago when I went thrifting there. It was very expensive. I did buy uh, an Oprah Winfrey. You guys remember that from one of my videos? And it sold for full lasting price. 70 bucks. That Oprah Winfrey, the show sweatshirt. Pretty cool. Do I buy scrubs? Yes. So the best scrubs are figs. F-I-G-S. Figs. Fig scrubs are the best. Guys, that's going to be it. Oh, they did just roll out a new cart, I think. That's not a new cart, is it? I don't think so. No, that one's not new. There's more. There's more out. Have you ever found Gucci? Yep. I actually sold a pair of shorts not too long ago. Gucci shorts. Not long ago. Um, aggregate. I find that brand often. I don't think it does very well, right? Frame is the one I want to be looking for. Indigo. No. Hila. No. All right. Let me give some personal space to her. She's pricing. Um, once I'm 55, I can get 10% off on Tuesdays. May, just say you're 55. They're going to really check... They say, can we check your idea? You'd be like, excuse me? You can act 55. You can be like, you know, really annoyed that someone asks you that. I think that's a newer cart, right? Isn't that a newer cart? Did we look at this one? I don't think we did. Uh, figs have been moving slow for me lately. They sell. They sell for me. Figs sell for me pretty well. Yeah, we did look at this one. 
Um, but here's a little Fortnite figure. These are kind of cool. These are kind of cool. So, I right, they probably just say, okay, lady, yeah, just act really annoyed. Grumpy. Yeah, grumpy is what I'm looking for. Like, I'm 55 and grumpy. Give me my discount. All right, guys, that's going to be it. I appreciate it. There's we, we did okay, but let's talk about it. Let's do a let's do a brief review. BKE jeans, seven ninety nine. I'll flip these into twenty eight plus ship. Everything's plus ship. In Kotex, these will probably sell for around forty or so, and they're five bucks, right? So there's your margin on that. This will sell for around twenty. I'm paying five for that. These spanks will go on whatnot. Paying five. These will go on whatnot. Pay for five. Lululemon, pain five. They'll go and whatnot. Um, last in hardware, that'll probably sell for eighteen. More Lululemon, that will go on whatnot. They're three ninety nine, I'm sure. Those will be price discovery. Who knows? And then the smart wool, that will go on whatnot in the winter. So yeah, they find the sales um, for them stores. Sean, you just gotta like call them, call the stores. So you gotta call the stores that um have sales like Marshall's call them and be like, when's your next big sale? And they might say, I don't know. Or they might say tomorrow. You just have to call them and just keep on them. Call once a week. It takes 30 seconds to make that phone call and it could pay off for you guys. So what's the brand of the jeans that you picked up? BKE. So not a, not like the best, best, but they do well for me. These are BKE. These are the Jake straight. 32 by 30, pretty normal size. So appreciate you guys again. Thanks for the follows. And I put these on YouTube. You can watch them later on. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for joining in. Have a really good day. Bye, everybody.